Hello, and welcome to my week five course project presentation. COVID-19 has wreaked havoc on millions of patients all over the world, making it one of the most recognizable and complex illnesses in history. Pandemic is grounds for major research, and this project aims to provide insight into the, the disease progression of patients with COVID-19 and co-infections versus those without pre-existing conditions, and how each group compares when fighting the disease at the cellular level. This is a crucial factor when discussing disease progression and which group will prevail, helping to aid in potential desired outcomes, which include the development of future treatments and vaccines. Cells are the foundation of life. They contain essential components like the nucleus, cytoplasm, and cell membrane, each containing specific blueprints for the building blocks of humans. DNA houses instructions for building proteins which carry out various functions within the body. These proteins can act as enzymes, structural components, or signaling molecules, all vital to the cell's survival and function. Cell communication is achieved through signaling pathways which trigger specific cellular responses, such as growth, division, or activation of immune responses. Finally, cells follow a regulated cycle of growth, DNA replication and division. When this cycle is disrupted, it can lead to diseases such as cancer, where cells divide uncontrollably. Understanding these processes is key to studying how disease progresses. This project aims to investigate how COVID-19 affects the progression of diseases in patients with and without pre-existing conditions, specifically focusing on how the virus interacts with the cells in patients who have underlying health issues, such as diabetes, cardiovascular disease, or respiratory conditions, compared to those who do not have these conditions. COVID-19 has a profound impact on global health, and patients with pre-existing conditions are at a higher risk of severe outcomes. Understanding how the virus exacerbates these conditions could lead to better targeted treatments and preventative measures. For example, if we find that COVID-19 significantly accelerates disease progression in patients with diabetes, this could lead to more aggressive management strategies for these individuals. Previous research has shown that patients with pre-existing conditions are more likely to experience severe outcomes from COVID-19. Studies like the, the ones shown above highlight the interaction between COVID-19 and specific cellular pathways that are already compromised in these patients. This experiment will build on these findings to explore how COVID-19 influences disease progression at the cellular level, particularly in the context of immune response and inflammation. Methods and materials utilized in the experiment start with the sample collection from patients with pre-existing conditions and those without. These samples are carefully prepared in a lab, ensuring their preservation. The next objective is to expose the samples to the COVID-19 virus, and from there, we observe how the samples react to the virus at the cellular level. We then observe the reactions and record the data, specifically looking for signs of stress, disease progression, and cell damage. We use advanced tools like microscopes and molecular assays to measure these changes. Scientists have used similar techniques to study other viruses, such as influenza, affect how they affect cells and how certain drugs can mitigate these effects. By comparing our results with previous studies, we can better understand COVID-19's unique impact. Finally, we will analyze the data to draw conclusions using statistical analysis. This approach has been used in countless studies from cancer research to drug development to identify how different factors influence disease progression. In our experiment, we anticipate seeing significant differences in how COVID-19 impacts disease progression in patients with pre-existing conditions compared to those without. These differences will likely manifest in a rate of cell damage, the severity of immune responses, and the overall progression of disease-related markers in the cells. To visually, to visually represent this, we can use bar graphs to compare the levels of key markers, inflammation, cell death, between the two groups. To show how disease progression changes over time, particularly the rate at which cells deteriorate or recover, we can use a line graph. These visualizations provide a clear and accessible way to convey the differences in how COVID-19 impacts disease progression in different patient populations, helping the audience grasp the significance of our findings. This experiment aims to reveal that COVID-19 exacerbates disease progression more severely in patients with pre-existing conditions compared to those without. Visual analyses show higher levels of inflammation, cell death, and faster disease progression in the affected group. This suggests that pre-existing conditions amplify the virus's impact, 
leading to worsened outcomes. Understanding these dynamics is crucial for developing treatment and improving vaccines for vulnerable populations. This research underscores the importance of tailored healthcare responses in managing COVID-19, particularly for those already at a higher risk due to underlying health issues.